Well, here's an interesting JavaScript HTML5 example using React and Redux MVP displaying tournament data from attached JSON file. Let's take a look at this project. What's interesting here is it contains a package JSON file, which is very magical for NetBeans because NetBeans will automatically open any project that contains a package JSON file. A package JSON file is a signal to NetBeans that um, this is a HTML5 JavaScript project and NetBeans will give all kinds of special features and support for you when you have a project containing that particular file. Let's um, go to clone or download here. And you can see here is my um, git URL. I'm going to copy it to the clipboard. And now I'm going to switch to NetBeans. We're inside NetBeans. I'm going to go to team, git, and clone. And point to that folder, or point to, and point to that git repository. Uh, we won't need a user or password here. Just going to go anonymous. And click next, and click next, and provide some folder. Here's just a random folder on disk that I've been working with. The clone begins, we can see on, on bottom right, and immediately we can see it's been cloned, and we are asked, do you want to open the project? Because NetBeans knows this is a project because it contains a package JSON file. Also handy is to open the sources in favorites, because then we'll have a file view on disk directly inside NetBeans. So now it's our open project. We have here our um, little structure. So we can see here, this is our, um, these are the files exactly on disk. NetBeans has added an NB project folder in, in order for it to be opened into NetBeans. And here we can see the structure um, that we have copied from. And here we can see the project that we have cloned from GitHub. Tests, source, everything else. Um, we can go into the properties here. We can go into the properties here and take a look at what has been identified as the root folder. So we don't have anything yet. So let's um, well, let's first of all set the source folder to clearly source over here, and the root folder would be the one higher up, this one, that should be our root. So we go up one and we find that folder. Okay. And there we go. Our site root. Also, there's a test folder here that we can also register. Um, let's now. What, what you can also do if you want to combine the source with the site root is to have them in the same location right here. It might give a better overview of the structure. And now we can do npm install if that's what you want to do. We can run the uh, project. Let's take a look at the package JSON. Yes, all kinds of things need to be installed. Um, Bootstrap is already available. The npm libraries here, you can see all the npm libraries declared in the package JSON. So we do need to access these uh, locally. So you would run npm install. Um, open the output window to see the process. So here is the output window. I'm just going to clear everything and we can close it. So then do the npm install and we can watch the process um, in the output window as the install is done. So that's it, really seamless integration from our GitHub repo into NetBeans. No special steps needed to be taken. Um, we didn't need to uh, clone it onto disk and then go through some complicated import process. No, we all we needed was our GitHub um, URL and NetBeans and everything is handled uh, seamlessly. Thanks, a quick tip for GitHub integration with JavaScript and HTML5 projects with NetBeans.